Hello everybody and welcome back to another character showcase. Today we are checking out the GOAT, which does not mean greatest of all time. This is the literal GOAT, the actual GOAT, that might also be the GOAT, but this is a pretty interesting character. This dude is, of course, centered around devil deals. We start off with Sacrifice here as our active item, and I understand that's a one-use active that we can use to reroll a recently picked up item into one of the current pool that we are in. So essentially, if we pick up a bad item, we can go to the secret room or devil pool, and then we can um, re-roll it into something else. And also, when we take a devil deal as this character, we get another one for free. So this guy should be pretty good as long as we can get some half-decent devil deals going. Uh, that would be rather nice. Obviously, if we get devil deals with nothing in them or one thing in them, it's not, not going to be quite as useful. But we can hope for the best and see what we get. Oh my god, this guy's so hard to hit. There you go. We got it. We got it. We're good to go. Lots and lots of big rooms right off the bat, but luckily one of them doesn't have anything in it. But yeah, we want to try and find item room and then possibly finding secret room as well would be nice. Because if we find a bad item room item, it'd be nice to re-roll it into a secret room item. Or into just a devil deal item as well. That would also be really good. Um, we get a Yera right here, which is a pretty good thing to get early on, I've got to say. I've got to say, as of when you guys are watching this, I will be in Greece, so, on holiday, so, do not expect me to reply to comments, like, very shortly after the upload, but I will be returning to, like, looking at all my comments and stuff. Ooh, one minute. I've got a really itchy side, randomly. Um, I will be returning to, like, reading through all my comments and stuff pretty soon after, so... Do feel free to still answer the question of the day, which is, when's your next holiday, and where where are you gonna go? I've asked this one a few times in the past, but that, it's always updating, it's always changing. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Greece at the moment. Not literally as I'm recording this, that would be a weird thing to do while on holiday, but as in, like, I'm pre-recording this for when I'm on holiday. I've been backlogging a bunch of episodes, which is something I haven't actually done in a really long time, and I have to say, backlogging Isaac is just so freeing. Uh, because it's like, I, I just, I like recording them, but it's just, it's just so nice to sit down and be like, ah, I've already got an episode done, I don't have to worry about it. It's so much nicer to just be like, yep, it's done, I don't gotta worry about it, it's out the way. So it's gonna be nice to have like, I think, I'm, I'm, I'm in Greece for like 10 days, it's gonna be nice to have like a 10 day break of not having to worry about my YouTube uploads at all. It's, it's, it's gonna be a rather nice little break. Having everything squared away. Of course, I could also just actually take the time off of YouTube as well. But I don't know. I, I feel like I don't mind. I take a day off on the weekends now. That's definitely helped. I feel like you guys still deserve your uh, your daily dose of content. As long as you guys are still sticking around and watching, I'm going to still uh, make an effort to make sure you guys are getting regular content. Because I, I enjoy doing it and you guys clearly enjoy watching it. And that's always good to see. What we got going on in here then? So we got an item I don't particularly care for here, I'll be honest. So if I can find the secret room, we can test out our theory. Now I have to admit, this room is annoying the hell out of me. Um, belly button, okay. What trinket are we going to get here? Well, I guess we'll take them both for now. Um, okay, so if I can find the secret room, which honestly I'm not even sure if I can. This is quite um, a difficult one to find, but I think I know where it is. It's, it's very much looking to be right here. So if I come in here, and then I... Oh, hello, Jack-O-Lantern. That's an item uh, that's interesting. That's actually pretty good. I'd like to grab that if I could. Uh, but if I then go like this... Indeed it did. Okay, so it gave us two tattered pages, interestingly enough. And it gives us our knight in shining armor. The item that is always and forever ours. Oh, we got a rogue planet out of that and ordinary life. The item that is just always and forever ours. Um, the good old crimson stick. This item seems to just exist with me all the time. I decided to gamble on this. I'm not sure if I, uh, okay. I was gonna say, I'm not sure if I'm happy with the gamble or not. I think I am. What the hell does a negative two of diamonds do? You, both of you go over there. Oh, dude. God damn it. Takes away half your coins rounded down for the next 20 seconds. Enemies will drop a random amount of coins. Ooh. Okay, that could be good if we get the right boss. And then have we got like a similar card here, dude? I'm so foolish. Um, We got two of the same. Okay. Uh... This has not gone the way that I would have hoped. I'm just gonna 
back out of here and um, see what boss we get. Damn it. This isn't going to be the right boss for doing what I wanted to do. Ah, oh, man. This has not gone well. This has not gone well. As if that had to be a cash room as well. Lost two soul hearts immediately due to just straight foolishness, to be honest. Nothing more. Just straight foolishness. And we got ourselves a little rogue planet here. Hey, we get the fetus in a jar, though, which I much prefer. We did get this back. Um, so let's see if we can see if we can finagle ourselves some extra money. There is three coins in this room, apparently. Um, which I this this is a I'll be honest, not the greatest use ever. But um, my thinking is potentially get some half soul hearts. We already got one. And now we can afford the jack-o'-lantern item, which I think is seemingly pretty good. 25% uh, chance to fear um, all enemies in the room upon killing an enemy. All feared enemies take extra damage. I think that's pretty good. Seems seems reasonable to me. And we'll take this for the next floor. And I think we're good to go. Um, as you can see, our active item is only a one use per floor. I believe after we've taken a devil deal, we can use it additional times. But it'll cost us, um, it'll cost us broken hearts. But that's only after you've taken a devil deal. So right now we have to finagle around Rogue Planet. But yeah, let's let's pop this and it'll take some of our money away. Um, do you know what? It'd be real good if I could actually hit these enemies here. And we'll get some money back after killing these guys. Item-wise in here, what we got going on? We got two items for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why we had a choice there, but one of those is decent. I feel that we've wasted this card significantly, so... Rogue Planet has really not made it any easier because we can't actually aim. This is all just <laughs> having to deal with the game, throwing what it can at me. Thank you, Rogue Planet. You were uh, a joy to work with. Yeah, that card was uh, utterly useless, but I managed to coincidentally get rid of Rogue Planet. Yeah, so enemies are feared. The, the fact that they take two times damage as well, it's only a short time, but that's still super, super huge for us. Good, good, good. Let's keep it moving. Oh, dude. 25% chance is a, is a good amount of chance for this to happen. Gives us enough time to basically clear out the rest of the room. And there's enough. if there's enough enemies in the room, it's going to happen more often, too. So I think we've, we've got this one on lock. Pretty good trinket, but I think we've already got a very good trinket. So I'm not going to worry about that. So we obviously do want a devil deal here. You got feared. Awesome. We can fear you off of your, uh, your little heads that you throw. Also, as well, we want to be trying to utilize Crimson Stick when I can, but I'll be honest, I'm not going to be the best at doing that. Oh, we lost some fire right there. You are being annoying, good sir. Toothpicks. Okay, so I'm not going to take that yet. We're going to go in here. We're going to grab... We're going we're gonna to do this. And that gives us black powder, which unfortunately isn't um, very good. <laughs> Dude, I do not like this situation here. Let me just bomb that. And then we get that as well for free, baby. Okay. And we, we, we always get two of these, apparently. And we grab that. Okay, good stuff. I like it. I like it. Right, down we go. So far, so good with this character. We've managed to utilize um, our active nicely and we just managed to get an extra devil deal for free and do it in the right order to make sure we got the, the right one and with the jack-o'-lantern here we're gonna be doing some pretty good damage i would say hopefully we can get some more red hearts going so that we can um make use of the devil deals even more so but we're at the whim of the game to see if that comes to fruition we very much are at the whim of the game so we shall see of course, we do have the little blood vials on the floor that up our damage for a short time. But honestly, as I've said before, they are kind of annoying to pick up and don't last long enough to be really worth the effort that you have to put in to actually make use of them. I wish they were a bit more usable, but for me, they're not really. Oh my god, this is an annoying room. Why did you have to be a champion, man? We got a lot of things blocking, uh, blocking stuff off for us, which is nice. But yeah, there you go. One point two damage. 
Get your little head up, dude. Oh, how did that not kill you? There you go. And a haunted chest as well. Hello. Wow. Why did you throw that stuff there? Hey, you're all feared. You're all feared, baby. Okay. Just keep this train of chugging. Yeah, I gotta say, I want to use my Crimson Bombs a little more, but honestly, right now, I don't think I really have enough bombs to fully utilize it. Because I'm really bad at judging where red rooms are going to be anyways. I'll slap one down here, why not? That was nothing. Darn, son. Oh my god, I missed that. No. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. There you go. Yellow Sigil, not bad. Chance on damage to spawn a little fella. Probably a good item to actually um, tend to a Devil Deal as well, if we can get into the Devil Deal here. It's an okay item. It's an okay item, but honestly, on damage items aren't exactly my favourite. Because they're just kind of hard to fully realise and utilise, unless you're playing as a character like Tainted Maggie. Oh, dude, this fear thing's amazing. I love it. Really enjoying it. Right. I could also just reroll into a treasure room item, or a secret room item, or a red room item, for that matter. A lot of ways I could go with this. I don't know why that opened. I guess I have George. But in here we get ourselves spawns an orbital knife. Uh, wait, let's kill these guys first. Orbital knife familiar, which deals heavy contact damage. Okay, so we'll we'll grab that. No, 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 no. I've done that in the wrong order. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I did that in the wrong order. My bad. Um, marked. Do I want marked? I mean, it is red. But do you know what? I'm gonna abstain from marked right now. I'm just not feeling it. So instead, we'll remove Marked in the red room here and see what we get. And we get Red Key, baby. We get Red Key. Red Key's actually really, really good for us right now. Because it makes it a lot easier to see where our Crimson Bombs will actually be use useful. So we have a pretty good setup right now, I'd say. We should be able to find red rooms with relative ease, I would say. We've also got a lot of stuff blocking shots from hitting us, which I quite like. So we did get a broken heart for that, by the looks of it. Not exactly sure why this time we got a broken heart and the other times we didn't. Or maybe it's because I've taken a devil deal at this point. Maybe if you abstain from taking any devil deals, it doesn't give broken hearts. But as soon as you take a devil deal, it starts giving broken hearts. That might be the way that this works. Still, that's pretty decent. We'll grab that. Okay, I'm liking how this run is progressing. This character seems pretty fun. It's not like... I, I kind of like characters like this, where it's not like a crazy gimmick. But um, it has a bit of extra gimmick to it. So the, the unfortunate thing here is that, yeah, this item is... Um, mm, so red key's not the best, actually. Because that active item gets put on the floor like that. I didn't even think about that. It was not something I had planned for. Well, this is a good item to pick up and utilize our active on. I'm going to do it in here to get a cash room pool item. Oh, really? You're going to give me that? That's that's rough. That is rough, game. That is rough. I take deep offense to that. Okay. Because I want to get to use red key, but... In an awkward position to effectively use red key, I'll be honest. I'm just going to kill this guy over the barrier rather than mess around here. Oh, wait, no, I've got to mess around. God damn it. Why you got to make me do it, game? Why you got to make me do it? Ooh. I just get the knife. I'm pretty down with that. That's, that's a good bit of extra damage, to be honest. It's a good bit of extra damage that I do not mind having. Right, these guys are a little bit annoying. That knife is 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 just something beautiful. Ooh, 
So far, we're not having a great time of, uh, ooh, dead tooth. So far, we're not having a great time of uh, red key, considering we've seen, like, no red key areas. Like, not a single red keyable door or wall. Does mean the secret rooms are at least fine, though, right? The secret rooms are, unfortunately, a bit pathetic. Dude, where are all the red room available areas? I'm having a trouble finding any of them. Gives us a holy mantle. It's good, at least. Dude, this throwable knife is uh, something else. I'm liking it. Arcade. Okay, so that automatically opened this, which is an error room. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Okay, I guess we've error roomed <laughs> and skipped a boss fight. Very much my bad. Yeah, the red key's are an awkward one for us right now. I could clearly see that was an error room as well on the minimap. I just wasn't expecting it, so I didn't actually pay, much, pay enough attention. It's not what I wanted at all. I'd also just like more bombs to, to work with here, because using our crimson thing, crimson bombs are just not really super viable right now. God damn, it's been a hot minute since I've used black powder. Black powder is an item that I can safely say is absolutely just awful. Needs a buff. You can use it by accident sometimes, but using it on purpose is like next to impossible. <laughs> to actually get good value out of. I did a gulp, that's good. Okay, I'm going to take this and then I'm going to try and find a secret room to, um, to stuff that in. Dude, this knife. Where the hell would secret room actually be here? I'm a little lost on where that would be. Could be here. It is here. Huzzah. Oh, baby. I wasn't expecting binge eater, but I'll take it. Binge is a good one to grab. Right, do, do I even want to keep taking Red Key with me, really? Like, is it that big of a deal for us? Probably not, right? Just seems like it's going to be really hard to actually get much use out of. we got a powerful build already, though, which is nice. I like the power that I'm seeing. Our tears look kind of tiny right now. What's going on with our tiny... Why, uh, do I have Proptosis? I think I have Proptosis somewhere in there, you know. I was thinking I was killing stuff at an alarmingly fast rate. But I think that's why. Makes a lot of sense. Right, let's uh, crack that open. Hey, Okay, Red Key, you're staying along for the ride. That was... That was beautiful. And we get ourselves red bag. Or honestly, I'm gonna take the food. <laughs> That's a damage multiplier as well, baby. When you know you're getting good eats. We just need to get a golden bomb. We've seen the power of a golden bomb before. And then in here, I'll take Champion Belt. Okay. Back over to the boss. I do, Honestly, I don't need the Soul Heart. I'm going to be getting a lot of Red Hearts. But, good thing is, um, what's it called? Binge Eater is good fuel for the fire when it comes to Devil Deals. So, I'm, I'm happy for that, at least. Quickly check these extra red rooms that George is giving us, just in case there's anything nice. But at the minute, I'm very much on the trend of, let's get straight to the boss. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that knife, man, it's so good. 
Also, the rework Dead Tooth is also pretty good too. I gats to say. Right, Devil Deal incoming. Hopefully, it's another Devil Deal with multiple items for sale. Obviously, we'll take that. Hey, okay, we got two. Um, so, we'll go with the Sinner's Scar, I think. Um, and then I guess we'll take this. Not the best of the best, but it's still stats. Right, down we go. Right, we already have a food item that I'd be pretty much okay with getting rid of, so now it's the, the mission to find the secret room as fast as we can. Let's try and find the, the, the secret room speedily and we can uh, be on our merry little way. Slightly annoying to deal with. Oh, we're full on health, health right now. I kind of forgot we've got these uh, broken hearts causing us issues. And the shop we can actually take a little look at here. Oh, you guys know I love me a D3. D3, yet another shop item that I just cannot fathom. D3 should definitely be secret room only, and it should definitely be at least quality 3. I, I actually can't fathom why it's quality um, quality 1. Like, yes, the randomness can work against you, but I'd say the vast majority of the time it's working with you. Especially on lasers. Lasers are absolutely dumb because you can reroll like a brimstone laser or a tech laser into like a mega brim laser which is just wild that tea is so tiny okay, hopefully we get another devil deal here that would be rather nice Aw, oh, dude, this curse, man. Curse are making me redo my rooms. We've seen, actually, what we need to see on this floor, so let's just get it. Shouldn't have too hard of a time against Mum here, I wouldn't think. Give me that devil deal. You know you want to give me. Ow. Taking some very dumb damage here, but... We are spawning some shadows, though. Some little, some little friends. No devil deal, sadly, but... Randomly two soul hearts. Do you know what? The negative seems appropriate right now. And unfortunately, none of those are really to my liking. So let's uh, let's head on, shall we? I think we've managed to craft something pretty interesting with this character. Not the strongest build of all time, but I think we've managed to utilize his unique abilities to actually gain some pretty decent advantages. Like this piercing bleeding item we didn't have before. Um, with we like we managed to. Grab that for the extra devil deal. Binge eater wouldn't have been with us right now. Crimson Stick. I know we haven't exactly made the most use out of Crimson Stick this run. I'll be honest, Crimson Stick's one of those items that I genuinely think it might be one of my favorite items in the entire game. But, like, you basically are committing yourself to, like, an hour and a half run if you actually use it to its full potential. Um... Obviously, this run, we've not really had quite the opportunity because we haven't had the bombs dropping. But on a run where you get a lot of bombs, or if you just want to try and min-max the hell out of it, you can just go forever and basically max out most flaws. It's it's kind of crazy. Because there's, like, the red rooms that open have chances to drop more bombs, chests, things. You have high luck, and it just becomes like a self-fulfilling prophecy that you feed yourself more bombs to go to more rooms which give you more bombs which lets you go to more rooms and then uh, basically with that strategy i wouldn't say you're guaranteed but the chances of getting a golden bomb aren't super unlikely and at that point you can then literally do the entire floor someone actually had an interesting idea of starting with dr fetus and crimson stick and then only taking items from red rooms literally i can't get items from anywhere else so i've got my ultra secret room and then any other special rooms i find from just creating a ton of red rooms i kind of like that idea i think that'd be kind of fun i think it'd be quite difficult and a probably a very very long run but i think it could be interesting I don't mind the idea. Beautiful. East nail polish, absolutely ruining him. 
Um, I'll pop that down. Wow. I guess I'll take the T. And then for these ones, I guess I'll take the... Uh... Do you know what? I'll take that. We finally got something that wasn't a... Um... Finally got a, a card that wasn't a tattered page there. Even though they're from a different mod, I kind of assumed that tattered pages were some sort of, like, coded interaction, but... I seem to have just been getting extremely lucky, maybe. Cool. At this point, we're just kind of speeding through. I have g gathered quite a lot of broken hearts at this point, so I probably don't want to use my active anymore. But yeah, I like the idea that, like... You can go down one of two paths. You can either take the double devil deals, which I think is slightly more beneficial, or if you want to do some min-maxing, you can ignore devil deals entirely to keep your ability to use your active without getting broken hearts. I mean, honestly, being able to use it like four or five times and gaining some broken hearts is not a bad thing. Especially considering you can like make an item pedestal in a specific room. So if there isn't an item pedestal in your um, secret room, but you have ways to reroll it like a restock machine. Being able to create a pedestal in that secret room is obviously pretty darn valuable. So I understand why it's limited use and then has the broken heart thing attached to it. I think from what I read as well, the birthright of this character just removes that um, broken heart part of it. Which is a pretty good addition. Right. Taken care of, my guy. I'm losing HP here, but honestly, as long as I don't, like, absolutely destroy myself, it's absolutely fine, because I'll just pick up more HP items that will heal us. There's a beam doing its thing. Oh, that was stupid. Why are some of these slower? What's going on? Is that normal? Is that a change? I'm confused by that. Feel shared buddies, and remember, we are going down. We are the GOAT. I feel like, as the GOAT, we have to take it to its logical conclusion down here. How are you? Yeah, you're not too bad. Not too bad at all. I guess I'll start taking some of these. I thought this was the um, floor mini boss then, but nope. No item or black art for us. Ooh, a chest there. Unfortunately, not one containing anything I care about, really. Right, keep it moving along, people. Keep it moving along. Is the TV fixed? I mean, in Isaac, the TV's got a spooker in it. I haven't done a beast run, like a run to the beast in a really long time either. That's something I should probably do at some point soon. I just feel like it's been a really long time since I've seen, like, any of that path. I don't know. It, it, to be fair, I do feel like it's one of those bosses that's, like... Not really typical for a regular run post completion marks because like it's it's a bit shorter It's very much more centric on like the boss itself and not much else But I do kind of get why it's not a boss that people like go to a lot after getting all the completion marks It's not because it's bad like delirium. I think pe more people go to delirium if delirium was just like made well <laughs> um, But it's just because it's kind of a it shortens your run a little bit I might do a mother run as well. I, do, I enjoy the mother runs on occasion. What's what's left here? Oh, hello. Right, I need to be careful. I have taken quite a lot of damage here. And I do not have a regular way to heal myself. I am killing rooms extremely fast though, which is... There's a lot to be said for that. <laughs> But sadly, no health drops whatsoever coming our way. Hello, good sir. Um, he's a champion invisible guy? What the hell? What? Okay, right. Boss time, straight in. Stay still. One, two, three, and... Boom. You've always got to go for that. That's just like... That's like Isaac 101. One of the first things you got to learn. Dude, I just took a lot of damage I shouldn't have taken there. Oh, dude, there's a random blackout on the floor. Did I manage to get that? I can't pick it up. I just realized I can't pick up blackouts. I don't have the space. I don't have the space. Dude, what the hell? The brimstone. You look at that. That's so sad. It's right there. It's just out of reach. Oh, dude. 
Your boy's messing this up somewhat chronic. I thought I was onto something, but I've unfortunately taken a lot of damage. Luckily, here's where we get some of that back. There you go. Challenge down. I like the way the croissants are referenced to the, uh, <laughs> to the fucking, what's it called, champion belt, because I don't know everyone thinks it's like a croissant. But yeah, that that was where we got it all back, because that, that healed us back up to full. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. I had a feeling it heals to full, but I wasn't quite sure if it gets all the way there. But it did. Now we just gotta hope the boss isn't a million miles away and we go the right way ish. Ooh, a chest. Hey, that's actually a pretty good item to get. 25% chance to negate damage. Don't mind if I do. Just plodding along, hoping for chests on occasion. We got a gulp there, but. I doubt we're going to find too much more to use that on. Hey, the bombs there made that so much easier. Excuse me? Oh, there's like a hand up there that's doing its own thing. I tried. <laughs> are these ones that chase me? Yes, they are. Oh, the big old brimstone. The mega chunky brimstone. And a little half heart as well. Last few floors have been fairly somber, fairly chill. Unfortunately, a little bit of the wrong way. I'd say it never hurt anyone, but it at least hurt my feelings. Just let me walk over those to pick... Uh, pick them up and life would be so different. Yeah, I think at this stage I don't want to be going for another uh, another burn heart, uh, broken heart. I think I'll just stick with what I got going on. Oh, hello. Where did you come from, my ladder? You dived at angles I wouldn't have expected. Here we go. Here's the boss. Right, can we do it with the health we've got left over here? I'm unsure. But I've got to try, I guess. Use the eye frames. This is why I took the uh, the fire flower, firework flower, whatever you want to call it. It's actually pretty good on long term boss fights. Yeah, it's it's wrecking him. I think we got this in the bag, people. I think we got this in the bag. There we go, baby. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Definitely an interesting look at the go. A pretty cool, pretty simple character, but I enjoyed them quite a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.